channel. So today video is on SAP Studio, one of the features that introduced by SAP team. So what is SAP Studio? SAP Studio provides a visual way to generate the test within the test channel by recording interaction against the application under test. So right now what we do, normally if you have to write any of the test cases, so in Cypress, so normally what we do, we write describe blog, we have different different it blogs. Now using SAP Studio, what it can do for us, it will create some step number one. Second thing, it will generate new test case or you can say it block for us itself. So what we are going to learn here, first thing, how we can extend our existing test case, right? So suppose in a test case, I have five steps, so if I want to uh, add some more steps, so we can do using SAP Studio. And second thing, SAP Studio create completely new test case for us with the help of test scenario. So takeaways, first thing, how we can update our existing test cases. Second thing, how we can add new test cases with the help of Cypress Studio in Test Runner itself. So without wasting more time, let's move to the demo. So before moving to the demo, first we have to do some settings here. So in Cypress.json, we have to add this line, experimental studio equal to true, right? So I have created one of the test cases here, you can see. So here, if you see in it blog, I have just mentioned cy.widget. So if I want to perform other steps, like I want to log in and take username and password, I want Cypress Studio to do for, for me. So let's see how it will do. Let me run Cypress, yarn run Cypress open. So it will open the test runner, right? So let me click on my test case. So what it will do, it will open the URL, only URL. And for the step, I will do with the help of Cypress studio so here you can see there are two things first thing if you hover over the test login functionality here if you can see there two things first thing add new test another thing is add command to a test so what what these two features do first then i am telling about this feature add command to test what it will do it will add other steps or you can say more step in the existing test case and what it will do it will add, add a new test case so let's first create add command to test so i what i have to do i have to just click let me copy this url because you will ask for me the url so for, let me click on add command to test okay let me enter so here in the left side you can see it will recording all the steps right let me enter the password click on login so here in the left side you can see all the action that i have performed are recorded here let me click on save command so as i save so what do you see here it will it will run all the test case it will run the test case by entering username and password let me run it again so here you can see right so in the url i have in that in the test case i have given this url only right so you can see behind the scene what cypress studio do it will it will create all the step for me here it is you can see so this is one of the beauty of the cypress studio so what are the benefit of this first thing we do not need to write any code second thing if you are a newcomer from you are from the selenium background and or some other framework you are working on some other other framework you can see how can we type how can we enter how can we click in cypress so all the action action you can see here okay so let's move to the next test case basically so let me run it again just give more. let me delete it right this time what i'm going to do i am adding new test case with the help of cyber studio so click again on this test case so this time what I will do, I will add a new test, right? So I have to enter the URL, then click on go, then let me enter username, password. Let me click on add card, then click on remove. 
as I click on save, it will ask me uh, the name of the test, test key that I, I want to give. Suppose I give here updated test case and click on save test. So here you can see two test cases are created. One that I created myself, one created by Cypress Studio itself and all the stuff here. And in the background, you can see here, new it block is created here. So this is one of the beauty of, I would say, of the Cypress Studio. So for the, it's really helpful. First thing it will, it's going to save some time and sometimes, you know, we do not have, we do not know, uh, we are not able to capture the locator. So it can help us even locator to get the locator as well. And especially for the newcomer, which are moving from Selenium or any other framework to Cypress, they can understand with this code, how we can write all the steps in Cypress. So that's all about this tutorial or this video. Thanks.